radical economic patriotism that even his money needs a passport. It's summers on the beaches of the Cayman Islands and winters on the slopes of the Swiss Alps. <laughs> in Matthew, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 21, the scriptures teach us that where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And my friends, my friends, any man who aspires to be our president should keep both his treasure and his heart in the United States of America. Instead of safeguarding our seniors, Romney and Ryan would end the guarantee of Medicare and replace it with a voucher in order to give bigger tax breaks to billionaires. Instead of investing in America, they hide their money in Swiss bank accounts and ship our jobs to China. Swiss bank accounts never built an American bridge. Swiss bank accounts never put cops on the streets or, or teachers in our classrooms. S Swiss bank accounts never created American jobs. Maybe 23 cents doesn't sound like a lot to someone with a Swiss bank account. An IRA worth tens of millions of dollars. But Governor Romney, when we lose 23 cents every hour, every day, every paycheck, every job, over the entire lives, we lose just cannot be measured in dollars. Never in modern American history has a presidential candidate tried so hard to hide himself from the people he hopes to serve. When you look at the one tax return he has released, it's obvious why. It's obvious why there's only been one. We learned that he pays a lower tax rate than middle class families. We learned he chose Swiss bank accounts and Cayman Island tax shelters over American institutions. And we can only imagine what new secrets would be revealed if he showed the American people a dozen years of tax returns like his father did.